Hello friends, you're watching Skilltune and I am Naresh here, your host. Today I have a beautiful uh, tutorial regarding uh, I iPhone data recovery or any iOS data recovery using this uh, application which is from Wondershare, Dr. Phone Toolkit for iOS, right? If you could see the screen over here, this is a uh, a simple application to use though it is just a trial version if you want you can purchase it for $79 you can just visit the website uh, buy it for yourself but if you prefer to just use the trial version you can just uh, see how the basic UI works and what are the features on it right let's get started now um, you could see that there are uh, many options available here one is the data recovery one is the system recovery. We have WhatsApp transfer, backup and restore option also available in this. So let me do one thing. Let me quickly connect my iPhone and show you the demo here. One moment. So I'm just plugging out my cable. All right, my iPhone is just sitting next to me. Right, and there you go. The iPhone is connected. So, let me show you what are the quick things you can just exclude this, cancel it. Let's go for data recovery. And if you see this, my iPhone is connected and it shows me what all options I have to recover the data. I have uh, everything uh, starting from whatsapp to viber the notes attachments contacts messages photos memos if any and uh, most importantly the application photos if you have any like for example if you have a file sharing application and you have uh, uh, photos uh, inside that and you want to recover them you can do this by this way and uh, please look uh, pay attention to the sidebar here right we have uh, recover from ios device option recover from itunes backup file i'll let me just show you this how it works if you notice you know there is a backup already um of my device on this computer right just for example if you have lost your phone or you don't have access to your phone or your iphone is dead but you really need your data you can just click on this option and click on the start scan button let me just show you how it works and once you click on start scanning you know you would notice that you know there are i think it's mostly it says scan has been completed. you can preview and view the lost data all right so we have photos here um app photos there are no much uh, backup here uh, if you could see because i have not uh, used uh, the itunes for the backup and we have one more option which is our uh, let me just show you let me go back here and as i said sidebar gives you an option to recover from the ios device itself if you have access to or from the iTunes backup file by clicking on this and the next option is recover from iCloud if you see I have already signed into my um, iCloud account here and you just have to do the same if you click on this option you will be prompted to enter your uh, iCloud username and password once you enter you will see your backups here if you notice that I have uh, 255 GB of uh, data already backed up of my iPhone. There are many iPhones backup which I was using from starting from 4s to 5s, the new 5s which I have owned now. So all you have to do is just click on this and click on download. And if you notice, it says once you click on download, it says choose the type of files you would like to download. And plenty of them they have all the options uh, provided you have all the data backed up on your iCloud account example camera roll the photos which you click from your camera the app the app photos again as I mentioned earlier uh, any application which has the photos in it which you have transferred using file sharing then you have the videos which you have captured 
then next category is messages and logs you have messages messages attachments i message basically if you have any attachments on that even that can be recovered the contacts voicemail call history whatsapp and whatsapp attachments so this is basically i have uh, got uh, feedbacks and requests to um you know uh, probably go ahead and uh, uh, create a tutorial to get the whatsapp data out of the uh, iphone backup so this is one way which you can do it and the other categories memo and other notes calendar reminder safari bookmark voice memo etc so let's click on next but i think it won't allow me uh, oh yeah sorry this is a trial version so uh, there are some limits uh, to save it on the desktop but it will definitely show you how exactly it's gonna work and let's wait for a moment this is gonna take some time uh, based on the data you have on your uh, iCloud uh, account so there you go the download has started yes you definitely need an active internet connection and a good speed will help you to quicken this process let's wait and see how long it takes and meanwhile uh, let me also show you something yeah so if you notice here on the right hand side you have the key if you have a key already uh, for this tool you can just enter it or if you have want to buy it you can click on this buy button and if you want to go to the main page you can just click on this home button here and it takes you to the home screen again where you saw all the options uh, appearing for the recovery right so let's wait okay hmm it looks like my internet connection is slow at this moment I just um, chose the um, the less um, backup storage so that it uh, quickens the process and the more uh, huge the data you have on the backup the more time it takes because it's not so easy to um, restore the data so uh, technically if uh, you guys uh, any of you my viewers are um, you know uh, technically uh, have some questions that how is it working without an iphone really uh, connected to the icloud why how is this um, you know uh, downloading my content so may, many of you would have a uh, question that the icloud data is not secured it is definitely secured the only thing is this this software is designed in such a way that it acts like a ios device and the option what you see you restore from icloud backup file it allows you to go ahead and sign into your icloud account so it's almost secured it just acts like an ios device though it is not but yes your uh, icloud data is definitely secured no one can uh, decrypt it right and uh, and it's it's now started to move ahead 57 percent let's wait yes so i was saying that it just acts like an ios device and you don't need to worry about the security of uh, your uh, credentials it's really safe the only thing is this design is wonderful it's amazing yes of course the credit goes to the wondershare team who has uh, designed this uh, application for all the ios users all right so we are, i think we are done we are close to the moment mm -hmm. 90 percent So as I was mentioning, so there you go. I think it's done. And 
it's again gonna after it downloads it it's gonna show you all right so these are calendars if i'm not wrong yes those are my calendar events if you notice here it's still uh, trying to load the files and if you see notice here it's just trying to catch as much as contacts as possible uh, if we notice it's already taken my reminders great calendar the bookmarks contacts it's still counting okay great do you see this you have all the contacts let me show you a uh, yeah so pretty much it uh, it has all the contacts great lovely let me see it. messages yeah it has messages and and if you notice it also gives you a, a preview here let me click and yeah there are some app photos but yeah there were no photographs on this particular backup which i choose but if you have a backup it will definitely uh, give you the backup all right so this was one of the um, options and if you want you can just click on export to mac there you go preview it allows you to preview but it will not allow you to extract the data because it's a trial version if you want to have the data recovered then you have to register the product okay then let me move on and show you the other features of this application unfortunately yes i'm not using the paid version hence uh, we would not be able to um, go ahead and uh, show you the actual working but yeah i've got a good review of this application and hence I have created this for you guys. Let me see if we can show you something related to WhatsApp. Yeah, one more important thing, uh, you know, you can um, transfer your WhatsApp messages from your iOS device or your Android device. So let's see how this works. See, it shows iOS to iOS device to iOS device or iOS device to Android device. So iPhone or uh, you can connect your iPhone here WhatsApp right and you can connect another Android device here and it just starts transferring from your uh, iOS device to your WhatsApp device and yes please notice this the WhatsApp chat history on your device will be wiped out that means it is transferring it is not copying so be careful with that option and uh, the next which I wanted to show you is um, yep data backup history so uh, this is the current uh, currently connected device as i mentioned earlier it will show you all the data up here so pretty much it if you have any questions about this please comment or you can tweet me on twitter you i'll leave the description below and uh, do uh, leave your comments if you like the video please like like it if you have disliked it please dislike it but please leave a comment stating why have you disliked it at least i would work on it next time and one more important thing i would keep on uh, creating tutorials for ios mac pcs android device technic uh, anything related to technical reviews news so stay subscribed to my channel please hit the subscribe button and uh, I will endeavor to give you all the tutorials as much as possible from my end and in case if you have any requests please do put it in your comments and I will definitely endeavor to create one. Thanks for watching everyone and this is Naresh signing off. Thanks for watching. Skill tuned. Stay tuned. Good night.